hi and welcome to day two of my vlogmas welcome back if you joined me yesterday thanks for coming back again um as you will have seen in the video so far i have had a pretty easy morning today i decided to give myself a bit of a break and take the morning off um i had to do something really horrible this morning it wasn't very nice at all um so i decided to go easy on myself and have a bit of downtime um I'm not going to go into details but I just want to point out that it's really easy to make a 10 minute video that looks all shiny and happy but just remember with every video you see, every Instagram post you see, you're only seeing what people want you to see and everyone has got stuff going on in the background and I know at this time of year it's really really difficult on social media because everyone's posting perfect photos of the perfect decorated house, the perfect family, the perfect life. I guarantee you, no one's life is that perfect. We've all got stuff going on. Um, and it's just, obviously we don't all put it on social media. But I just wanna point that out, just something to bear in mind when you're watching all these vlogs. And I know it gets really difficult sometimes to, or not to compare, but um, yeah. So my morning looks lovely, um, but I kinda really needed to just sit down and not do very much, not do too much. I'm going to be really easy on myself today. So I've done that. Um, I've had my lunch. I cut out some bags yesterday. They are here. So I'm going to sew these up just now, I think. These are really pretty. Um, so I'm going to sew those up. Um, it must be about two o'clock, so my son will be in from school shortly. So I'll see how much sew when I get done. Um, I've got the toe of my socks now cast on, so that feels good because I hate doing the toe cast on. It takes me so much concentration that I can't really be doing anything else while I'm doing it. Um, so I didn't put on my iPad, I didn't put vlogs on until I was finished the toe, because um, I really need to concentrate. Um, and the toe, I just find the most boring part, but once I'm past the toe, I know that the project is sitting there in my bag, ready to be picked up whenever I want. And because it's a nice, easy project, then you know I know now that I'm just ready to go with it. Um, I was going to cast on the green ones maybe later on today but I went to look for some more needles and I realised that the other 2.25 needles that I've got all have sock whips on them. So I must only have three pairs because I've got two whips in bags and the ones I've just cast on today. So I'm going to quickly go online and see if I can order a pair. Um, that it's okay if they don't get cast on for a, a f another few days or so, I can work on the other ones. So it's a good idea having two pairs. Um, I've got a backup pair to work on. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to starting to knit properly on the, they're going to be the ribbed socks that I've got cast on. So I can start working on them properly tonight under the light of the twinkly Christmas tree, which will be lovely. Oh, isn't that what we've all kind of looked forward to, to December? I feel like now that we've reached December, it's almost like we can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief because December is going to be the only month of this year that is going to, it feels familiar to us. We know what to expect in terms of our inside our own household, I suppose, because we all have the same decorations year after year. We make the same food. We do the same crafts. We know what December brings. We know how it feels. Oh, I have looked forward to December just knowing that, you know, the twinkly lights will be up and all the nice scented candles, the Christmassy ones will be out and the mulled wine and the mince pies and I make a Yule log and all the nice stuff and it's just the one thing that I think we've all been certain of this year so I hope that you are going to find as much comfort from December as I am hoping to find. I'm already feeling it. The decks went up last night um, I kind of simplified the tree a little bit. I have loads and loads of baubles, like just round baubles and I've just not put the majority of those on this year I find it so boring putting them on I love the look of them because they, they glint in the light of the fairy lights but I just couldn't bother putting them on and then you've got to take them all off again at the other end so I didn't put them all on but I've got a lovely selection of decorations on the tree and around the house and over the next few weeks I'll show you some of those I did put in today some of the ones that I've made um, the embroidered ones and there are some cross stitch ones as well the embroidered ones were just patterns that I'm just made up myself I just kind of sketched them onto the fabric and then embroidered them the cross stitch snowflakes are from a book called a rainbow of stitches which is a really fantastic resource if you like cross stitching and embroidery there are 
um, so many projects in the book under so many different topics. Um, I really love the Christmassy ones and I've used them a lot. Probably the Christmas ones more so than others, but I have made some of the other projects in the book, but it's a really good book. Um, and I did say on the bit of video that the, the Christmas tree cross stitch slash embroidery was from a cross stitcher magazine. And I remember taking that on holiday to stitch in, I think it was a September, and it was a very, very warm September here in this country and I was sitting stitching a Christmas tree in the sun but it's beautiful I really like looking back on that one it's it looks so intricate but it was actually a pretty easy pattern um, because the the intricate lines are just a single stitch like a back stitch and stuff and um, it's nice to be able to pull these out year after year and just sort of got a memory of when you made them or whatever and you forget what you've got so opening up the Christmas box every year is really nice a nice surprise Um okay I had better get on with some work Oh, I also should just point out, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to vlog every day um, or I may just do like sometimes it'll just be two or three days in the one video. So if you don't see a video from me on any given day, don't worry, um, I'll be fine. It's just that I'm not uh, putting a video out that day. I'll be consol consolidating, is that the right word? A few days in one. Um, I think it's better that way that I say that to myself and that way I haven't got the pressure to put out a video every day. Um, but if I do do a video every day then that's an added bonus. Um, so I'll leave it there and um, I will see you next time. Oh tomorrow is Thursday and if you follow me or have followed me for any length of time you will know that on Thursdays we have a very special day out every Thursday. So join me tomorrow, I'll do a video tomorrow, join me tomorrow and we will have a lovely day. I assure you that. Bye.